Something happened on May 3rd. Uh, after you know, we sort of you know, realized what straits we were in and picked ourselves up off the floor of May 2nd, um, the phone started ringing. And people started saying, hey, how do we help out the Liberal Party? How do we get involved? How do we make sure the Liberal Party uh, you know, comes back stronger than ever before? And people started volunteering. People started giving money. And a momentum started to build. And people realized, no, Canada's not a country to be polarized between the NDP on the left and the, the Conservatives on the right, uh, you know, voting against each other. Canada needs people looking forward, wanting to build together. Canada needs the Liberal Party. And that's what we saw through the summer and through the fall, and all culminated in an extraordinary convention in Ottawa, where you know, we had a thousand young people who'd never been to a convention before. It wasn't even a leadership convention, it was a policy convention. And they came out and they got involved, and Peter C. Newman sort of, you know, <laughs> hobbled around the halls, and everyone was like, ha ah, ha, not dead yet, we sat down. <laughs> because things were going so, there's a feeling of, yeah, the Liberal Party is listening. The Liberal Party is changing, and the Liberal Party wants you back. And that momentum, which is building, is going to culminate on Monday. It's going to give us the best push ever to be able to showcase the extraordinary candidacy of Grant, the kind of new liberal that we need. To be able to showcase the extraordinary numbers of people willing to come out and work. Not for a brand so much as an idea. And not an idea of a party so much as an idea of a country. That's what's pulling us together. And that's what's driving us forward. And that, my friends, is what's going to really piss off the NDP. <laughs> in the house who will be getting as much in trouble with his irreverence. <laughs> uh, you're going to get two headaches. <laughs> uh, uh, and I hadn't even, before Christmas, I hadn't even thought about running in a by-election. Now all this. Thanks, thank you both of you. Um, my wife used to be on TV and we used to go into restaurants and walk along the street and people would fall over and I'd be standing politely beside her and they'd go, could you move please so we can get a photo? <laughs> or they ask you to take the picture. Or they ask you to take the picture. <laughs> or we'd go to a restaurant together five times, the sixth time I'd be alone and I'd say, could I please get a table? And they'd go, could you get out of here please? <laughs> so I kind of used to that kind of treatment and I started campaigning with Bob and streetcars would stop and ring their bells and people would be pressed against the window waving at them and we'd go into restaurants and people would fall all over Bob and I'd say, hi, my name's Grant Gordon, I'm your liberal fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, and then campaigning with Frank Mohavitz, can you imagine? <laughs> Little kids are going, could you please move so we could get a shot with the big M? And then I'm campaigning today with this man. Yeah, Holy oh. cow, <laughs> women are shrieking. And like, <laughs> And I'm going, hi, my name's Grant Gordon, I'm your <laughs> But once, on the Dan Ford, this woman brushed past Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Rushed, ignored him, moved by, and said, are you Grant? <laughs> that was the greatest moment in my life. <laughs> I am overwhelmed with the support I'm receiving, and I've said many times to this incredible team, I'm just your mouthpiece, guys. This is about a team, this is about all of us, and this is about a new liberal movement. Small L, big L, I don't really care. It is about bringing fairness and equality back to this riding, back to this country, and I'm so grateful for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo.